In this quick video, I'm gonna show you how you can use your iPad or your iPhone as a viewer or monitor for your Sony camera. Hey there, welcome to the video. I'm Mark Brown from Editor's Keys. And if you're new here, consider subscribing if you want more tips just like this. So in this video, I'm just gonna run over something that if you own a Sony camera, you may not even be aware of. You can actually use your iPhone or your iPad as a viewer for your Sony camera. And you can actually change your um, camera's controls like your f-stop, your shutter speed, and your ISO, and things like that. So it's really handy if you're filming on your own as well. If you can't reach the camera, you can just have the iPad off to the side. You can start and stop recording and change all of your settings. So I'll quickly run through what you need to do on your camera and your iPad to get this going. So the first thing you'll need to do is on your iPad or your iPhone, go to the App Store and download the Imaging Edge mobile app. I'll put a link in the description below so you can just quickly download that. Now, once you hit open, um, you'll be greeted with this just kind of simple black screen. And then you can connect a new camera. So I'd recommend you tap that. And then you'll see this little icon here. It says connect using the camera's QR code. Now, it doesn't give me very detailed instructions here, but what you need to do is on your Sony a7S III or any other Sony, maybe you have a ZV-10 or something like that, go to your network settings and then go to control with smartphone and then make sure this is switched on. Now it should give you an option here to scan a QR code. So all you do is have that QR code on the screen of the camera, scan it with your iPad or iPhone, and then it will instantly connect. It will ask you if you want to join the Wi-Fi network, click join, and you're ready to go. So now you can see we are connected to the iPad and it works really, really well. There's barely any lag at all. So again, this is super handy if you're recording on your own and you can't reach your camera. So you can see at the top here, we can change the uh, shutter speed there, one over 50 to one over 60, and you can see it's doing it on the fly there. Um, you can change your f-stop there, so I can move this down even whilst we're recording, and you can see the shot is getting obviously a lot darker. I'm just gonna turn that back down, and you can control the ISO. And down here, you can, can go to your camera's menu. You can change the menu settings. Obviously, you can't change a lot whilst you're recording, but you can change your focus modes and just other things that you can change obviously on the back of your camera. So it's just really, really handy. I'm gonna click done there. And then when you're done, you can start and stop the recording by pressing the little icon at the bottom here. So I find this just super helpful. You know, the screen on the back of my Sony a7S III, it's pretty nice, but when you're sitting three, four, five feet away maybe, you can't really see it that well. Or maybe you want a really wide shot and you want the camera to be the other side of the room. You can use this and just have it off camera if you wanna view, you know, if you wanna have a viewer and see what your shot looks like. Also, it's pretty handy if you do any top-down shots. Maybe you've got the camera above you, of course, you're not gonna be able to see that screen. So you could use this on a phone or an iPad to see that top-down shot. So anyway, I hope that's helped you. Let me know in the comments section below if it has. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.